The most valuable thing we have in this country is our fresh water. It's the mana of us all, and yet we treat it with so little respect. I cry for the awa. I cry for the mana of this country. I just can't believe that we've let things get so bad. The Pahau River has a story to it. It was formed by a giant tanapa coming in from the sea. And as it thrashed its way in, its tail swirled and it formed this windy, snaking river inland. I've been living here in Hinakura for 15 years, and on my farm property, the Pahau River runs right around it. Back then, the river was teeming with fish. We had fishing rods by the back door, and people could just go and catch a feed any time they liked. And things changed dramatically. As people began to intensify their farming practice, they brought more and more beef stock onto their farms, and so they had a greater need for feed. And a lot of that stock ended up here in the river, particularly in the dry summers. Here in New Zealand now, we have around 10 to 12 million adult bovines, male and female. Each one of those bovines is equal to about 14 people. So that's the equivalent of around about 140 million people all defecating directly onto the ground with any type of sanitation control whatsoever. Back in 2008, the Pahau River was a moonscape. There were that many cattle on the river that all the vegetation had been eaten. The gravel was just covered in excrement and the river stank like a cow shed. And it got worse and worse until all the fish in the river were dead. And the farmers wouldn't stop doing this, so twice a day I'd come down here with my pack of hunterways and would chase all the stock off the river. That's how I got to be known as River Dog. Spoke to the regional council, they said, well, look, unless we have some actual scientific evidence and water quality samples and things like that, there's very little we can do to try and mitigate the effects of the intensive agriculture. So I formed a joint venture project with Victoria University in the School of Computer Science and Engineering. It was called Riverwatch. The idea of Riverwatch was to develop technology that could record water quality data over a 24-7 period. Current water testing methods just take a snapshot of what's happening in the water. They take a sample, take it back to the lab, or put a wand in the water and measure it on a meter. Riverwatch sits in the water and takes samples every 10 or 15 minutes and can stay in the water for weeks at a time. Affordability is very important because it makes it accessible to the ordinary person at one-tenth the cost. All the data from our Riverwatch devices are GPS tagged, which means then it can be located on that particular spot that the data is taken from. It's very important for us all that we actually start to record what's going on in our water. The future of fresh water in Aotearoa is really in the data. There's been a lot of times where I've had to ask myself, is it worth it? Been quite a few times I've had to say it's not. My life's been threatened. My dogs have been threatened. Been shot at. Been dragged out of my car and beaten up. All because I tried to save the Pahara River. Yeah, it's been a struggle. But you walk down to that river and everything that has happened over the last 10 years has been worth it. I would go to my grave with a smile on my face knowing that my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren could swim and play and drink from our hour.